Hello everyone. Um, I will be discussing Redash, um, which is which is an open source um, self-service business intelligence platform, and uh, it's it's a tool that allows users um, to query, visualize, and collaborate on a data uh, and on a real-time basis. So, um, what makes Redash user-friendly is uh, it's basically its interface. So, um, even even if you are not a tech savvy or lack a basic SQL knowledge, you can still explore and um, and analyze data. Easily, and it's built for uh, its uh, its simplicity. So, Redis supports um, a range of data sources, like including um, databases. We can integrate it with many different databases, and also uh, we we can use it as a file-based source. And this versatility uh, is what makes Redis uh, out from um, the other business intelligence platform so it provides a seamless experience for dealing with diverse data sources um, so it's also designed to make data exploration and analytics accessible to everyone breaking down uh, technical barriers so it's practically um, a solution maker for real-time collaboration without the need for extensive um, programming skill so in general Redash is a tool um, that simplifies data analysis, making it easy for both technical and non-technical users. And also it's, a uh, it's a practical choice for those looking uh, to work with data efficiently, so that at the end, um, the, the data engineer or the data analyst can present its findings for um, the stakeholders or for the business uh, owners. So Redash has uh, many customers from the known companies, includes like Mozilla, um, Netlify, um, uh, MyBook, Cloudflare, and also SoundCloud um, uses Redash dashboard to uh, to investigate or to uh, search for uh, their data and to look for an insight that can make uh, that can make a huge change. Um, the insight can make a huge change in their business um, perspective. So these are among the most known companies that use um, uh, Redash dashboard. So Redash has key features and functionalities. Among those includes, um, basically the main thing is the data visualization. So Redash offers a diverse range of visualization options, starting from charts like line charts and also graph uh, to map to maps and also you can make uh, pivot tables based on the visualization need. And also users have the, the flexibility to create uh, interactive dashboard and reports ensuring that data is uh, presented in a visually com uh, compelling manner. And the other key feature is SQL uh, queuing. It is one of Redash strengths and it lies uh, in the support for SQL query directly uh, within, within the tool. So you can write SQL query uh, inside Redash and also based on that query, you can make a visualization without going out from the Redash platform. So one of the key features are also SQL queuing. The other is data collaboration. Um, it provides features that enables users to share dashboards and reports um, seamlessly within team members or with uh, business owners or with stakeholders. And this facilitates real-time collaboration. Um, fostering data-driven um, insights or discussion within the team or within the business owners. 
and the other key features can include uh, scheduled reports and alerts. So Redash allows users to schedule reports to be automatically generated and delivered to various channels, including uh, emails, Slack, um, and also many other. So alerts, by alerts, we mean that if we make a line chart for um, a, for example, for a YouTube viewership, and if we can say it, if you can, if you want to know um, if that viewership reaches a certain number, and if, if it surpasses that certain number, um, we can uh, we can make readers tell us at some specific point that, like an alert, that it reaches this certain number, and so that we can make um, a functional or uh, a purposeful um, business decision by its use. So, yeah, that's the main um, key feature and functionality for Redash, scheduling the report and alerts. The other is uh, data sharing and embedding. So Redash makes embedding quite easy. We can embed these dashboards on many different um, web pages. And also you can effortlessly share visualization and reports with external stakeholders. And moreover, um, the tool supports um, embedding these visualization and reports uh, in, many, in many other public websites, promoting um, data uh, uh, visualization and accessibility across various platforms. Not you can you can also uh, it's not only limited to websites. You can also embed it in many other platforms you can also share it on slack or on many other um, different platform so um, yeah other um, additional features of redash or benefits of using redash for data visualization includes um, self uh, self-serving analytics so redash um, it empowers users to independently explore and analyze data, reducing the need to rely on IT or data uh, ex data team for basic data retrieval and analytics tasks. And this feature allows for a more agile and responsive approach to data analysis, putting the power directly in the hands of those um, who need it. Uh, it's not only limited to uh, a technical uh, person. Anyone can understand and use Redash so that it meets the business needs. So the other is uh, real-time data updates. So staying current or staying live is crucial. So the data might not be uh, just some sort of data. It might be updating in a regular or in a timely basis. So Redash understand this and provides real-time query capabilities and also users can access the most up-to-date up to date visualization or data for general for their analysis and reporting needs so that uh, ensuring the decisions are based on the latest and the most relevant um, information the other is uh, multiple data source connections so it supports connecting to multiple data sources simultaneously. It can connect to many different databases like Postgres, uh, MongoDB, and also if if not database, you can also connect it with a local file, the um, local file, which is basically a table or SSV or an Excel, so that you can visualize and uh, get uh, the most uh, out of Redash. So you can connect with many different uh, data sources. That's the main key feature for Redash and others. It's open source nature. Um, this means it benefits from um, a thriving community of developers and users, and also uh, it have regular updates, bug fix, um, and additional features are part of the package, ensuring that Redash stays current and adaptable to uh, Evolving analytical, uh, evolving analytical needs.
so there are many benefits of using the dashboard for visualization in general dashboard um, and we dash we dash benefits in this aspect might include like it can give clear and concise uh, representation so we dash dashboard offers a clear and a concise um, presentation of uh, a normal data or of a complex data so this visual approach makes it significantly easier for users to understand and interpret um, the information that's uh, presented it's it's also as we discussed real time or nearly real time database it can give you any real time data updates so we'll uh, we dash dashboard enables this new real time data updates ensuring that insights are always based on the most current um, information um, available it also enhances collaboration and communication um, by providing uh, a share a shareable platform for stakeholders or business owners uh, this dashboard becomes a hub for um, collaboration and communication among many different organizations or persons so stakeholders can access and interact with data visualization um, fostering a collaborative environment where insights can be shared and discussed uh, in real time as a report or as an alert so those are basically the key features and also the benefits of um, using redash for businesses so there are key components for uh, for building the redash dashboard uh, among those are widgets filters um, and parameters are uh, the key components of building a basic uh, redash dashboard visualization so what do you mean by widget widgets are the uh, basically the building block of a redash dashboard uh, as you see in here this is basically a widget this is one widget which can tell the watch time uh, in minutes for uh, a youtube channel and also um, this is also another widget it's, it tells a language trend, um, uh, which is a timely trend that tells the peaks and the downs for the viewer, the viewership for that specific language. And also, this is a traffic, uh, a traffic source widget, which basically tells uh, where the viewers come from, uh, whether they come from a website or whether they come from a, a social media platform like WhatsApp or. Facebook so these are independent widgets that tells uh, a basic functionality so one widget tells only one information and one widget uh, the other widget can tell another um, basic information for the uh, data that's ingested so this is basically what a widget means so each widget represents a specific data element or insights within the dashboard so allowing users to grasp key information um, at a glance so the other is filters um, filters allow users to interactively um, slice and dice the data uh, displayed on the dashboard so with filters um, users can dynamically explore and customize the content of the dashboard uh, filters by zoom in in this uh, image you can see that uh, this is a line graph this is just a static line graph you can say that this is a static line graph but by applying filters like you can see in here there is a language filter a start date filter in the date filter and also interval so by using those filters the graph will change uh, based on the specific time so this is these are the basic filter usage so if we choose another different language the line graph might change on that specific widget so basically what you did before was um, building a visualization on notebook so notebook cannot have a filter cannot have a professional filter as you can see um, you can also you can only build a one visualization and if you if you have a parameter 
so that only changes a one column or a one aspect of the data, you will have to build another um, visualization uh, on that specific notebook. So Redash will um, eliminate this and Redash can use filters and you can change the real time update or the real time um, visualization on that specific widget. You can, uh, you don't have to build another widget to uh, show the same um, data only if it changes on, on uh, a specific parameters. So these are basically filters. Uh, so the other is um, parameters. Parameters provide a dynamic control mechanism for the um, dashboard. They allow users to dynamically adjust aspects such as um, filtering, time range, or um, uh, data selection. So by incorporating parameters, we dash um, can uh, enhance the flexibility and interactivity of the dashboard, giving users the ability to customize their analytic experience based on um, based on changing the requirements. So there are uh, different steps for creating a dashboard in Redash, um, which include uh, the first step might be accessing the Redash dashboard, creation interface. So being by logging into Redash and navigating to the dashboard, um, you can connect to the Redash instance. Um, this is where the, um, the first step starts in by connecting the instance to the Redash. And the second step is like um, choosing a layout template or creating a custom layout. So Redash provides layout template for a quick setup where you can opt for a custom layout to tailor the dashboard structure to your specific needs. And also the second, the third step is selecting data source and queries. So identify the data source and query that will populate uh, your dashboard with um, relevant information. Uh, this step is crucial for ensuring the dashboard reflects uh, the insight that you are seeking for. So for when selecting a data source, the data source might be a Postgres database or any other sets of database that the data is located in. So the for the step uh, is adding widgets to the dashboard. As you can see, uh, you can as you can see what uh, a, a widget is. So we can add a widget to the dashboard, but start building uh, your dashboard by adding widgets to and choose the visualization types. Like you might need charts, you you might need like graphs, you might need tables, you might need maps. There are many different parts that you can make and configure their setting to display the data um, in a meaningful way. And the other is arrange widgets within the dashboard. So you can build a widget and also you can also arrange the widgets. So arrange the widgets within the dashboard um, to create the desired layout and visual hierarchy that you want to display. And these steps allow you to control how users will interact with and uh, interpret uh, um, with the data and uh, the other is configure filters and parameters so uh, enhance it enhances interactivity by configuring filters and parameters within the widget and filters allows users to dynamically interact with the data as we have seen before and while parameters provide control over aspects like time ranges and data selection we can um, build a filtering mechanism within that specific um, widget. And the final uh, the final step is save and publish the dashboard. Uh, so once satisfied with uh, your dashboard, save your work and optionally publish a dashboard to make it accessible to other users. And this step is crucial for sharing your insights and collaboration with um, isn't the team members. So we have seen that the key feature for Redash is its capability to uh, 
app to its capability to accept SQL queries within its own platform. So we, we will see building SQL queries in Redash. Um, so at first, um, the steps for building an SQL query in Dash, at first we need to have access the query editor interface before. This is all before building the dashboard. We need to have access to the SQL query interface. So log into Redash um, and navigate to the query editor interface is the first step. This is where uh, you will craft your SQL query directly within the platform uh, and your SQL query uh, have to be uh, aligned with uh, the visualization that you will uh, have to make. So the second will be writing those SQL queries. So I guess you, I don't know what database you use, but I guess it's a Postgres. So you will write an SQL query uh, that's based uh, Postgres. So in this query editor, you just can, um, or you can write a SQL query to try and manipulate data from the, from the connected data source. And this flexibility allows uh, uh, for the uh, visual, the, for the data visualization makers uh, to analyze and extract a meaningful insight. Um, so the other is syntax highlighting. Uh, the query editor in Redash supports syntax highlighting, making it easier for users to visualize, uh, identify, and distinguish SQL keywords, table names, and other elements. And this aids in writing clean and readable queries. And also, it also have auto completion um, functionality within its own platform. The other is also. Um, you can check if any error is uh, has happened when you uh, write those SQL uh, queries. So, query data from data source in English. Um, so, the first thing might be selecting data source and table view, like the SQL queries you wrote. Uh, can include like basic um, SQL uh, keywords like select uh, from um, where um, group by order by. Uh, you can use those SQL clauses to make your um, your visualization like select will specify the the columns to retrieve and from um, identifies the table or views from which the from which to retrieve the data in the where clause adds conditions to filter the data in the group by clause might be uh, its groups data based on the specific column and also you can use order by to sort the result uh, set based on the specific columns um, yeah you can use those clauses to um, to make the SQL query that's based the data visualization you want to make. For example, um, here is a basic SQL um, query that you can fetch. Let's let's say we have a table named employees, and um, you can select all the columns by just writing the first line, like select. Um, a wildcard from employees. So, so what this will make is that it selects all the columns. It will select all the available columns from the employees table. So, this employees table will, will come from the data source that you connect to the readers, so that this query can um, um, execute successfully. But if the data source which holds this, this employee's table is uh, is not connected successfully, it will um, it can cause some errors or it can just um, display that that says like uh, um, 
the employee stable doesn't exist or the data source is not connected uh, successfully. So this is how you query all the, the available data sets from the employees uh, table. And also you can select specific columns from um, these tables. Like if you, if you don't want to select all the columns or all the data, you can select only uh, those columns that uh, you need to make the visualization for. For example, in here, you can select the name in the salary from the employees table so that this key result or this output will only show a table that has two columns, which is the name in the salary from the employees table. So when you make a visualization, it will be uh, based on only those uh, uh, specific columns that you selected from. So yeah, this is a simple, um, SQL queries that you can write on the main Redash um, platform. So yeah, this is just basically selecting and showing a table. And also you can make a simple visualization using this. And to make it a bit, a bit more um, useful or a bit more complex, you can use um, filters in aggregate, aggregating um, data in those uh, SQL queries. So um, SQL queries in Redash, um, um, you can use filters by using uh, SQL queries clauses like um, order by um, or group by, uh, or you can use where clause to filter specific data set or you can use a comparison operators like equal, greater than, less than, or also you can use a logical operator and or um, um, and also to filter some aspects of the data, you can use um, a keyword um, like uh, between, like um, between, between will filter data within a specific range so that you can show uh, or you can filter those data that are between uh, uh, those specific points. Uh, and also you can aggregate using clauses like count, sum. Um, you can also make average. And also you can also um, get the maximum um, data um, data entry that, that's presented in, inside the uh, table. So yeah, by using these um, these mechanisms, by using these logical operators, these aggregations, this filtering, you can build a more um, visually appealing and a more visually um, presentable uh, data visualization on the Redash um, platform. So the basic query for you, the basic, uh, here are the basic queries to filter and aggregate data. For example, at the first example, you can see that it has selected the name column from the employee's data or table, and it specifies some filtering mechanism um, where the salary column is greater than uh, 6,000 integer. So this, if we, if you query or if you execute this uh, specific query, the data that's that's uh, output will be uh, will will hold the name of those employees that have uh, this specific uh, filtering mechanism, which is basically in here, which have a salary greater than six hundred. So based on the result of this query, you can. Uh, build the uh, visualization that uh, you want to make. And also, we have another example in here. Uh, it selects the average of the salaries from the same data source, where also the it mentions the department um, have to be some sort, so that only the data sources that uh, satisfy this criteria uh, will result in the queue and also the widget or the visualization 
that you will make will also be based on the output of um, this specific SQL uh, um, query. So um, there are a variety of widget types, like um, Redash um, offers a diverse array of widget types uh, designed for um, visualizing data. This includes like the popular ones, includes the popular chart types, includes such as a line graph, a bar chart, a pie chart, as well as a table. You can also draw a map and more. You can explore it on the main widget instance. And each widget type is crafted um, to present data in a specific format, offering um, you flexibility in choosing the most suitable visualization, uh, the most suitable visualization for the for your specific um, data. So the other benefit might be uh, customization of the appearance. So you can you have um, the power to customize the appearance of the widget to suit uh, your basic preferences in analytical needs. You can add a title. You can add um, a description for that specific widget, and so on. You can customize the appearance of the dashboard so that it can meet your um, basic needs. So yeah, to show you just a basic visualization that is done inside Redash. Here is a simple bar chart um, that displays the salary of the employees using um, the employees data that you that we wrote the query before. So um, this shows the query is like. Uh, this one, it selects the two columns from this data source. So after we execute this specific query, it will um, present the Redash instance will have an option to make a visualization, like a new visualization. We, ha we can uh, um, create a new visualization. And the, there, there are also a set of options that um, have like a type of visualization that we want to make, like a bar chart, a line chart, and others. So we will have to select a bar chart in this case. So after selecting a bar chart, it will prompt us to select, to choose, um, or to set the y-axis or the x-axis. It will ask us like which, uh, which column from the executed query that we want to make the x-axis or which column from the executed query that we want to be the y-axis. And in this case, we set the y-axis to be um, the salary and the x-axis to be the names or the departments so that it can show us the, um, the salary distribution for these different departments. So yeah, this is a basic dashboard uh, building mechanism for um, a bar chart. So after building this um, bar chart, you can save this specific widget. And when you want to make a dashboard later, you can combine all those um, specific widgets or all those specific visualizations that you make, and you can put all those widgets and put it on one um, page or a, on a one um, dashboard. Uh, so yeah, this is just a how you can make um, a basic um, dashboard. So yeah, as we have talking about, you can customize the dashboard, the layout. You can move around with the widgets. Um, also, if you can also um, look into the graphs uh, by going into inside. It also has a, a zooming capability. You can also um, zoom out from the um, specific graphs. Basically, you need it for a line chart. 
if you don't see the numbers clearly, you can zoom in and also you can zoom out. You can also move the x-axis forward or backward to see um, the trend um, analysis for that graph. Yeah, those are just uh, how we dash make it more customizable for um, um, any widget or any dashboard that um, you make. And also, uh, most importantly, you can uh, categorize your widgets by um, writing um, a description for only that widget. You can also write a title and more descriptive, more a descriptive. Um, you can also write a more descriptive for uh, for that specific title, and also for that um, specific um, user. So yeah, you can customize it basically like this. So yeah, I think I am finished. You will um, you will see. A more um, in a more descriptive uh, nature on the coming tutorials, like installing the Redash and also making uh, those uh, dashboards or those specific widgets. So yeah, uh, I think this is it. For me. if you have any question, you can ask. So, anyone? So, finally, um, yeah, you need to have to create more queries uh, for the readers. Um, like, you will have to create a new query for any widgets. Like, like we seen before, you have to um, create those queries on any query editor and save it. And after that, you need to um, go to the visualization section and you will have to implement those query output and you can make those visual, those visualization based on only that query so if you want another visualization or if you want another set of um, data chunking you need to have another query on any editor and you will also need to save it and you will have to do the same process. You will need to create another, a new visualization. And you need to create those visualizations based on those queries. So you need to have to create more queries for the reduction. Anyone? If you have any question, like. Please don't want to have told me. Any question? Okay, thank you. Okay, I need to go. Okay, bye.